Hello subscribers, uh, returning viewers and new subscribers and new viewers. Um, today is uh, Monday and on Monday we look at uh, the Beatles and what I have in my Beatles music collection. And uh, Last week we had uh, It's a Hard Day's Night and today we have uh, this album, uh, Beatles in uh, Beatles for Save in mono. And this is what, uh, this is very very flimsy. But it's very old, so that's why, that's what it looks like there. So I can do all this stuff with the stands, so it's very, very good. I keep getting confused to want to open the uh, sleeve from there, but uh, it's an inner sleeve. So, <laughs> but here we go. There it is. A wonderful, wonderful album. So it's not a, a, an original original pressing it is um, a pressing from a uh, time of mono and i think the beatles themselves preferred um recording in mono and i put on this uh i really really enjoy the mono but this morning for some reason um when i was listening to uh both this and uh the the uh, Gastoni stereo i preferred this pressing i have no idea why but uh I really, really enjoyed this pressing uh, much better than I enjoyed this pressing. <laughs> and uh, the mono, uh, the mono felt um, you could really hear uh, everything up close to the microphone. I, I suppose that's why it's called mono. And it kind of felt as if I, I could feel uh, and see myself in the studio, and it was like uh, you were up at the mic and you were listening through it uh, from that uh, kind of uh, from that vantage point or disadvantage point whereas the stereo um was uh, just absolutely marvelous it was um you were still in the studio with them and uh, you could hear everyone who had their own kind of uh, spot in the studio and you can hear everything in the nice fine uh, detail it was a well well uh, remastered um, uh, structure that was gone on here and I absolutely totally enjoyed this um, pressing uh, at this sitting I could go back tomorrow or next week and prefer this sitting <laughs> so uh, prefer this pressing at a different sitting but that's the way mono and stereo goes um, what do I like about this album? I call this album the country music album. Uh, there's the song track there. I'm going to go, I can't read, I can't read that. That's, that's just horrible. But I can just about make out that. And I can't, uh, yeah, I can't get uh, this up this close. So we go through the track list. And uh, the uh, catalog number is uh, PCS3062. I'll give out the catalog number for the model one in, in shortly. So we have uh, side one is No Reply, I'm a Loser, Baby in Black, Rock and Roll Music, I'll Follow the Sun, Mr. Moonlight, and Kansas City. And uh, my favorite three songs on this side are No Reply, Mr. Moonlight, and Kansas City. And so, um, in Kansas City is written by uh, two fellas called Liber, Liber and Stoller, and Elvis fans like I am uh, will know who Liber and Stoller are. They wrote Hound Dog <laughs> for Elvis, and Hound Dog was Elvis's uh, biggest uh, hit. And uh, Little, Little Richard uh, sang uh, Kansas City, and the Beatles do a very good. Uh, tribute uh little richard tribute act on this song i love the kansas city song and um it's just brilliant it's just uh, it's where they came from this album is a country music uh rockabilly uh album whereas with the beatles was more of a motown album this is a uh, nashville sounding album and the country album or if you want to call it you can call it an elvis album as well because i really really enjoy this album it reminds me of elvis Reminds me of his first and second albums. And uh, so I really, really enjoy it. And the second side, we have Eight Days a Week, Words of Love, Honey Don't, Every Little Thing, I Don't, I Don't Want to Spoil the Party, 
I kind of even forget what that song sounds like. Uh, what you're doing, and uh, everybody wants to be my baby. And my favorite three songs on uh, this side are Eight Days a Week, Honey Don't, and Everybody Wants to Be My Baby. And then, uh, you know, we go into uh, Planet Elvis on this side as well with um, songs written by uh, Carl Perkins. And Carl Perkins, of course, uh, wrote Blue Sway Cues. Honey Don't is the B side of Blue Sway Cues. <coughs> and, uh, you know, they're getting that kind of a uh, sun, sun vibe, that kind of a uh, rockabilly vibe across on this album. And it really, really works. So this is a uh, the Gastoni uh, version. And I may as well, and this is what I, when I go to open this one, you have to go from the inside out and go there that way. Now this one, you can do it like this. I showed it in another video, but why not now? I think, um, oh, Kansas City has been recorded by a crazy amount of people, uh, about 300 people. That's what I said on uh, Wikipedia or something like that. So that's the 180 grams, and it sounds absolutely marvellous. It was crystal, crystal clear. And again, I'm wondering uh, if you're familiar with my channel, uh, you know I look at Pink Floyd vinyl. And I'm wondering, this, this 180 grams vinyl sounded perfect. And again, the early Pink Floyd albums like um, Atom Heart Mother, and the uh, metal and um, what was the other one? Adam Hart Mother metal and uh, it won't come to me. Uh, it was a soundtrack obscured by clouds. They didn't sound as good on the hundred and eighty grams, and yet this one did. And it's an earlier album, so <laughs> I'm not a. I can hear the differences, but I don't know the technical names of. Uh, why I'm hearing the differences and all that sort of stuff. If you do know and you want to help me out, uh, discover what what I made, why why I'm hearing differences. You can let me know in the comments below. And um, this is one of my favorite Beatles albums, and um, I kind of almost prefer it over uh, Rubber Soul. <laughs> and. Uh, but that's my choice, and uh, some days I might prefer Rubber Soul over this one. So uh, there, there we go. So uh, there's uh, as as I said, uh, this album uh, they're not writing all their own material. Um, that happened uh, in the previous album, which was the soundtrack. Um, it's a hard day's night, and so we have with the Beatles here, or sorry, Beatles for sale, and. Um, with the Beatles is on my brain for some reason. I think it's its an anniversary, so um, that's possibly why. And then uh, we have uh, Help after this one, another soundtrack, and they still stick to this format of uh, writing. Uh, in um, it's a it's a hard or not? Sorry, Help. <laughs> if you're putting up with me uh, during this video, thank you ever so much. I give this album an, an obvious, an obviously a hundred percent. I really, really enjoy it, and I'm giving the stereo version, the Diego Stoney stereo version, a hundred percent as well. They got a lot of stick for uh, messing up uh, the Sergeant Pepper album, uh, but uh, I'll be interested to hearing that when eventually I will uh, come across and uh, uh, get the um, Diego Stoney um, Sergeant Pepper uh, album. So uh, let me know what you think of uh, With The Beatles, or sorry, not With The Beatles, here we go again, Beatles For Sale album, and you may as well let me know what you think of With The Beatles, and how do you uh, uh, compare, how do you like their uh, early stuff to their uh, mid-period and later stuff? So uh, I'd, I'm interested to, to know all about that stuff. Well, if you stuck out to uh, the end of... Uh, this video why thank you ever so much you've been an absolutely fantastic audience and uh, if you're new to the channel and you've not yet subscribed please do so uh, it's free to join and then um, we will talk to you again in the next video